It's SEC Media Days. It's this time every year. And it wouldn't be an SEC Media Days with, without one of these. Take, take a listen. That's why we have fine moms, so he can motivate him every other year and say, oh, his dynasty's over, and, and you know this is the end of Saban. And then we're like, hey, thanks a lot for pissing him off. <laughs> um, and Paul's always wrong on this subject. So, um, And he just did it again the other day. You know, if he doesn't make the playoffs, you know, is, you know, he's not any good as a coach. So thanks, thanks, Paul. He took a shot at me in one of the radio rooms about about me writing Nick Saban off. I mean, come on, Lane, Lane, Lane just has to find a target. So when you get him here in a few minutes, uh, please give him my warmest greetings. What do I got to do for you two to like? What what's going on here, Lane? How did this start? I'm a fine bomb guy, so I don't know why he's coming back. I was just stating the facts of what he does with Saban, and it doesn't help us. He just pisses Saban off because he says his dynasty is over every year and that uh, coach, when he loses all these players to the NFL and coaches, that, you know, it's over, and then coach goes and proves him wrong. So, I don't know. I mean, they just told him he's over there yelling about me losing five in a row. <laughs> we lost four in a row, but, I mean, you know. Come on, Paul, get your facts right before you take shots. 